Sophie King Cool Online here with Jay Pinder. How you doing, brother? Good. So, for those not familiar with you, why don't you break down who you are, what you're about? Jay Pinder, Seattle, Seattle, Washington, um, rapper, singer, producer. Um, I'm, uh, been doing it for a minute. Uh, in Seattle, I just uh, sort of broke, broke into the national scene and whatnot, so I'm enjoying the, the journey, pilgrimage, as I would say. My album, Careless. Uh, actually just came out on May 29th. I'm on tour with Tyler Kweli right now, the Prisoner of Conscience tour. We're in Buffalo, having a great time. It's a uh, living the dream. What actually got you into the game, so to speak? Into the game. Um, that's an interesting question. I mean, I, I started doing music at a young age. I was probably like in third grade when I was my first rapper. I was rapping and all that, so you know, I kind of just fell into rap. I sung, you know, in church. I sung and whatnot. I sing. To this day, um, but what got me into it professionally? Um, honestly, don't know. So when you guys have to come back in, you the other door? Yeah. Okay. I'll be down when, uh, there now. You know, Power of the Dollar came out. I was, I was a huge fan of Sam like early. Right. So you know, it was just, I just connected and you know, related to him or whatever. Um, you got him already? That, and then as I grew up, you know, my, my music changed and my personality changed. Yeah. So I, I definitely give you know, credit for putting me on, you know, and making me one of the rappers. Right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, you mentioned Careless is your latest release. Uh, let's talk about that. Careless, Careless, um, it's a great project. It's, uh, it took me, took me a while to, to make it. Um, produced by <laughs> myself. I hooked up with this legendary rock producer named Martin, Martin Fevier out in Seattle. He's working with anything in the whole grunge movement and all that. So, you know, I looked up with him and it was interesting working with him because, you know, he just has a different ear, so he brings a different perspective to the table. So, he co-produced the record with me and the main producers on the record are Cuddy Fresh, okay. who works with the business, who does, you know, with Chris Brown, Drake, and all this. songs that I've been, you know, holding on to for years, sitting on, maybe did a verse and just left it, came back to it, so, you know, so, it, it, it took a while yeah, to, 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 to that to come together. Right. Yeah. Well, you mentioned that you were working with a rock producer. Is that something you had in mind, or is that something that got put together by the label? Honestly, it, it, got, it got put together by the label. That was something that I wanted to do at the time. I didn't expect to do it as early, but, um, like, I, when, I, when I hooked up with my uh, business partner in my labor, when we started my labor, I just uh, hooked up with my business partner. He owns a studio in Seattle called Jupiter. Okay. And um, his, his business partner in the studio is Martin Fevier. So naturally, I went into that studio to record and, and, and you know, start vibing. He's like this, you know, late 40 year old English guy. Right, right. right. Okay. When we sit in a room, it's like, why are these guys in the same room? Yeah. But, you know, when we get in there, he has, he's just a cheap. everything that I want to, you know, bring to life that I can't necessarily do myself or, or I didn't pass. Like my first EP that really put me, you know, on the map in a lot of people's eyes is Code Red, right. um, which I dropped in 2010. And I had, you know, some of the same producers, Jake One, Body and D, and Cuddy Fresh. Um, dropped that, made made a lot of noise, gave it out for free, um, did some good, good numbers. Drop 2.0, which was just a, you know an additional five songs to the original project, and right. put that out for Papa Justice. And it's also the start of the group, which made it cool. So that was cool to, to you know, be around rapper Big Cool, Big Doe, Joe Studdick, Sean Don, and all those guys. Like those are like my, uh, my brothers, you know, so they own me out a lot. Right, that's what's going on. Not working against the uh, the other man. Uh, Careless is on iTunes for, for most you know national reach, but you know if you're in Seattle, you go to a lot of the local stores there. Pick it up on iTunes. Definitely go to go Amazon, YouTube, whatever you do. It's everywhere digitally. You can go to jpinder.com and get it. Pinrecords.com and get it. I know it's hard to get. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good shit. Now, uh, for those who want to listen to earlier stuff, they want to hear Paul Bradley. Never had a chance to. You can't. You can't hear it. Not until I decide to re-release it. Right. Cool. 
makes it, you know, it makes them even want even more now. Yeah, for sure. Now you can, if you, if you really dig, you can find it. Backpack Wax was like my first first project that I did with Vitamin D, and that is like my my reason for doubt. To kind of, you know, that's a project that I don't plan on, you know, giving back out to the public if they don't already have it, you know, for for years. Right. So, should be dope. I'm excited. Now, uh, you got any more touring plans for the summer? To promote it? Um, yeah, I mean, this Tyler tour, uh, we're going to do the West Coast and, and, and whatnot, and, and uh, I plan to get over to Europe this year. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that your first time going yeah, overseas? first time overseas. So that should be dope. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I heard everyone who, who does go over, uh, they're playing for a completely different yeah, place. Yeah, different world. I just got off the road with Black Milk two months ago. I mean, Black Milk, this was his first U.S. tour. He was touring, you know, overseas. Right. Uh, for a long time or whatever, but it's just that whole dynamic that you know, not having music so accessible to you, you know, they appreciate it so much more. So it's pretty cool. Like, you know, excited. So, uh, what's the website for people want to check you out? jpinder.com. Simple. J P I N D E R. jpinder.com. Twitter, jpinder. Uh, Facebook, jpinder music. Instagram, jpinder music. You know, all that. Perfect. Those out there, make sure you go to his website. <laughs> A copy of that new uh, release, Careless, and uh, check them out on tour if you can. That's what I like that.